today I will present intermediate API in R. So last time we saw uh, how to retrieve like data from an API. And here I will remember you because it has been like two weeks or more than two weeks. So how to do that? And then uh, how to, uh, we will see how to add the query parameter and authentication. So for that, I will go to my R Studio and share, sorry, my R Studio, and we will do this together. So today I decided that I will make many mistakes. So you can, you know, it's like to see if you are following me or not, okay? So let's start. Can you see my R Studio? Yes. Okay, good. So we said last time, because I will build on that, that we, uh, we will have to upload the library HTTR. And then once we upload the library, we will prepare the URL. So we will have our base URL, and we said we will call it, so base URL for the REST Ensemble API, okay? So here we will give the URL for the REST Ensemble API, and then we will add the endpoint. So here we will call it X or endpoint or whatever you can call it. So to access, for example, in this case, we uh, show to access the micro arrays for homo sapiens. Okay, so we will put the endpoint and then we will make the full URL. So you can use uh, paste zero or actually you can use modify URL. This is like to remember you, it's like. And then we put the base URL and the endpoint. Okay, so we have the base URL and then we have path word and then we put here the endpoint, okay? So once we have our URL, we have so to make a request. So we will have like, uh, to get a response, we make a get request. So, and we have here to provide the URL. Okay, this is to remind you what we did last time. So we will get, the response, we will see, uh, let's have a look at the response. And we saw that last time, that it will provide us with the date, status, content type, and size, okay? Now to like uh, parse the response, we need the library JSON light. So please uh, follow me. And so we need the library JSON light. And then, so we will convert the JSON format to a data frame. For that, we will use the from JSON function. We have it here. And here we put the content. And then, so since you followed me last time, you should give me the response actually. We said, why do we have to put here as text? Can you give me the response? So who can guess why? Actually, I can see very well the chat. Are you seeing my R Studio or like here? You can see your RCN. Okay. So why uh, do we have to put here as text? We said, let's see if we don't put as text. Last time I made a very good mistake and I put here the as text here. So what we got as an error 
is a very good error to understand. Okay, let's see what was the error and we will understand why do we, we have to do that. So the error is argument text must be a JSON string, URL or file. So from the error, we understand that this has to be JSON string and what you know it's like Aztecs do is converting it to a JSON string. That's why instead of putting here the Aztecs, it has to be inside the content. So we have to remove this from here to here. So reading the error is really important. And then we can add the encoding here. Okay, and we will encode this, add this encoding to get this result. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, my mistake. And voila, we get the result. So, these are the main steps when you want to get data from an API. Okay, so now we will build on that. Last time also we saw how to make a function. So the function is get microarrays and we will, you know, it's like a, a make a function from all these steps. So I will copy paste here to go faster. But what we'll do is get microarrays. We will provide, as we said, base URL, endpoint, and content type. And then we will see, you know, it's like how to add parameters and we can put the content type as a parameter. So what we will do here is a get request. So we will like paste the URL, the endpoint, and we will provide the content type. Okay, so what we did is the same as we did here. And then it's very important also in case an error to do, as we saw last time, Stop for status. So we said that we have like an error code. So once this status, it gives us like 400 or something like what, four, four. So uh, it gives us an error. We can see actually if we change something here, let's say. Um, you have to change your URL. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's change something here like that. And then let's try again. Actually, let's have a look at the response. Ah, actually, ah, we didn't run that. Anyway, let's make a mistake. The base URL still has to be a real place. Yeah, actually, maybe. Just to change the exe to produce the error. Yeah. yeah, actually, it's. Here. So here we have like stages and we have an error. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important to put like stop for stages. Here we have it. To add it to our function. And then add an if, if for example, the content type is equal to JSON or 
if the content type is not equal to JSON. So if the content type is equal to JSON, so we will use the from JSON, okay? So we will use the from JSON and we will get that like a JSON string here. Otherwise, so we don't have to use the from JSON. So here the else. And we add it here to our function. Okay, here we have two if. Okay, let's run it. So now what do we have to provide to our function? I'm sorry. So we will provide the base URL. So it's the same as before. Base URL. We will have to provide the endpoint. And I showed you last time how to get the endpoint. And we will have to provide the content type. Okay. So here we have the content type. And now we'll use get microarray with all these arguments. Good. So let's run this. And we will get the result. Okay. Now let's make it a little bit more difficult. And here we will like provide query parameters. So let's say that we want like the content type to add it like as a list, as a query parameter. So what do we have to change here in this function? So here we said that we will remove that. So we will add it as JSON, but as a query parameter, then the content type here, we will add it as queries. And queries has to be a list. So it's like you can pass many parameters, but here we will pass only one query parameter, okay? So we have the function, the URL, the endpoint, the queries here, and we remove this accept content type and we'll put here queries, okay? So everything we did as before, except that we have to remove this, okay? And we'll make return from JSON. Actually, we, we can provide here the content. I think I didn't make a mistake. Okay, so we have our function here. But this con argument has to be here, queries. And we said here we will provide it as a list. Okay, so we'll say list, and then format equal to JSON. Okay. So here you can pass many like query argument this way. So let's run our function, but we said that instead of content type, it will be queries. You have an extra uh, line in line 14. Can you remove the 14? 14, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have get microarrays, we have everything now, and let's run our function. Good. So here we have it in like a JSON format, and we said that the JSON you have like key value, key value. So now we understood how to add like a query as a list in a function that we saw last time. So it's like adding 
one layer of complexity of what we saw last time. Okay, now the fun will be gone. So let's start with ChatGPT now, authentication, okay? So I will put in the chat the link. I hope many of you have already like an account. Otherwise, I will wait for the ones that they don't have an account. And I will show you how to make an authentication, get the API with ChatGPT. And then, you know, it's like uh, ask and get your response. So we will use the API instead like of the chat, you know, it's like the web browser and you will have everything in app, okay? So please go to the like chat GPT web page. Okay, I will pause, I will stop sharing this and we will go to the web page of uh, chat GPT. I will put you in the chat the link to the web page. So here you should get like your API. Okay. So how many of you have already like a chat GPT account? Mm -hmm. I don't have a chat GPT account. It's okay. I will show you how to do that. No worries. I think the open AI account, right? Yeah, actually it's open AI account. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an open AI account. Okay. So Louise. Uh I think Madur also has an account. I'm sure Geo has an account. Okay, so for the others, we will, I will show you the steps you have to follow. So let me share my screen and show you. Once you have like an account with ChatGPT, uh, OpenAI, sorry, I'm always like. So let me share my screen. Okay, so if you see here, you have an account. So I will wait for the others. Meanwhile, I will explain a little bit. Yeah, it's like what you have to do. So you have to go to the view API keys. Once you go here, you will get your secret key here, okay? And then I will show you how you know it's like once you, after that you have to go and say create new secret key, but not now when I will tell you about it. So you have yeah to click here to get your new secret key, copy that key and we will see when you have to paste, okay? Okay, so I will stop sharing this. KJ is asking a question. <clears throat> he said, how expensive is having an account? Uh, actually, as I put, it's, it's not expensive at all. I think you have already like a credit on it. So if I'm not mistaken, I figure out that you have already like uh, $18 free credit that you can consume within the first three months, okay? So yeah, first time is not expensive. Otherwise I didn't choose it much. So it's only like for this tutorial. But then you can make like an app, you know, with the, like, uh, yeah, calling the API. And um, I'm sure you've heard about the art tutor. So they use the like uh, open AI, yeah. So API for that. And they said it, it's not very expensive actually. Okay. So now let's move on. 
and uh, we will talk now about like authentication. So once you have like for like ChatGPT API, there are many API that need uh, authentication. For that, you and I will share my screen. This and we will see. So for that, uh, you have many ways uh, of uh, like authentication type. So there is the first way is let's say username, password, the common one. Username, password, authentication. Okay, username, password, authentication. Then the second one is using um, an R environment. So it's like you have to edit your R environment profile. And then you know, for that, you can use the uh, use this. So the library use this. And then you put here, edit R environment. Okay. Actually, I will write it, but this is not the like the authentication we will be using because uh, it's not really secure. So what we will be using is um, we'll be using like a library called ask pass and we will see, yeah, so one we will use the library, what will happen. Okay, so uh, I said what you will be doing here is edit R and var. This is one way the second way of doing it, okay? And now we will go to the way, you know, which is like more secure of doing it. So for that, we will like upload the ask pass library. And then I made like a function to set your API key. Okay, so the function is quite easy. So what you will do is you first set key your parameter your argument key to null and then so you make like an if if it's null so it will you will get like a message please enter your api key and you will have the API key in like your global environment So this is like the function we will be using, okay? So let's try to use this function. We will run this function. And let's see what happened with this function, okay? So once yeah, you run this function, you will get like from saying, please enter your API key. So here I showed you before that once I will tell you, you have to go to create new secret key. Okay. I will do that now, but I won't show that because like for yeah security concerns. So get new secret key. You will get that generated key. You have to click on there is like a green button like to copy that key and you will paste the key here okay is it clear or yeah. should i like show it again without showing like the api key it's clear. it's clear okay so after that i have my key so let me try now. To set so key. So I will get the key from the global environment. And then I have to see if I have the key or not. So it's like, let me check if this key is null or not. If you did everything okay, if it went okay for you, 
you should get here false. So I hope you got this false. Okay. Did you get that? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. So now what we will do, so we will use a post request to send information. Okay, so we have to send uh, information to uh, to the API. Okay, so we saw last time with get, with a post request, it's very easy. So you will put instead of get post, but there is one like change. So we said with the get also we have the URL, but with the post, we will have a body. And we will see, you know, it's like with what to put in the body. Okay, so we will have a body and then here encode JSON because we want it to get in, in a JSON format. Good. So let's do that. And first, so let's say that we want to optimize our code. Let's say that our code is this. Okay. So this is our code that we want to optimize. And then we said this has to be like in a JSON format. So we use the to JSON, which is very practical, this function to make it like, yeah, JSON to encode it as a, like a JSON. And then you have like uh, to forget about the new lines headache, okay? So this is our code. And then now, so what we will ask to the API, we said, optimize the following code. So we will ask here, to optimize the following code. And we will give our code. So we will paste that to be together. So optimize the following code and we provide the code. What it means to optimize the, the, the code? No, actually you have to ask a question, you know? It's like, if you go to OpenAI and ChatGPT, you have to ask a question and you will ask, you know, it's like the API, please optimize, you know, the following code. And this is the code that you provide, you know, to the API uh -huh. to optimize. So you will get a response, okay? You can change this, whatever you want, you can put here, you know? Oh, okay. In the prompt, you ask a question, yeah. It's like you can, uh, for, for example, please uh, convert, you know, it's like, um, from uh, base R to tidyverse or whatever, you know, yeah. whatever yeah. question, but here, yeah, it's like, uh, as an example, I took like, uh, I want to optimize, you know, it's like the following R code. And, and I took, yeah, an easy example, yeah, like this one. But, uh, you know, once, yeah, I will show like a simple example, but then you can make a function and you can give this, you know, it's like, uh, to the function and every time you know change the prompt so it's like you can get your response every time in r without moving from r studio okay yes. is it clear yeah. yeah okay good so now we will have to provide the body we said we have post and we here we will call the body params because we will put some parameters and it has to be a list. And then, so for the chat GPT, if you go like to, let me see, there's a link. And then if you go to the link, so it will tell you that the model, you know, for that, for the completion, it has to be text diversity three. At the end, I will show you the different model you have. And then, you know, it's like uh, the different parameters you will have. And here you set your max tokens to, here you can put whatever you want. 
it can go yeah from five so it means that you will get like five words or you can in this case i put 256 but yeah it's like it depends on what you want you can you know it's like put higher or a lower value okay and then you i will put the temperature here but then once we can get all these parameter in like the open ai documentation okay actually i put this parameter only for testing you know if you want uh, like uh, yeah if you want to work with it so you can go and read more about like this parameter to optimize that but uh, yeah, I didn't go further. So it's only for testing, for preparing the tutorial. So here we have our body. And then what we will do now is make our post request. So we said we will put our URL. And if you go to this URL completion, you will find, you know, all about this parameter. You will find even more details. And then here, you know, it's like the difference between what we saw before is that we will add authentication. So add headers. And the authentication always go. So we will put here authentication. So authorization we put here. Okay. So. Okay. So. And then for the authorization, it has to be always so. you will paste and there is like bearer it has to be always this way so you have bearer space that's why we are using paste instead paste zero and then key and key this one it will be you know your api key okay and then you are specifying that you want the content type to be JSON. So content type JSON, okay? And we said that the difference is the body between the post and get. So we will provide this body as what? As JSON, okay? And then what we will provide here? We said we prepared already parameters for that. So we put params here. And then we will put the prompt. So we will put the parameters and the question, the request, the question we will ask, you know, it's like to the API to optimize the like R code. And here we will give it as a list because actually we can put lots of like uh, other parameters to the body. Okay. And then sometimes when you have like uh, vectors of length one, Within an object, you have to use this auto unbox equal to true. So we will add it auto unbox equal to true. Okay, so here we will have our pose. And then we want the content. So we will call it response. And we will add this. Okay. 
okay i hope i didn't make a mistake with the parentheses but i think it's okay okay let's run it oh there is something missing here there's a parenthesis missing Okay, so let me check the parentheses. Okay. Okay, good. And now we will get so here you will get in choices and it's a list but it's my Spanish. so once we run this we should get These kind of results. Okay. So let's try to remove the new line. Then. Good. Now we got everything here. So it's like ChatGPT told us that actually it's is it the same code? Hmm. It didn't optimize the code. Put it in a different order. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in, but it didn't optimize the code. Anyway, it did fix some errors. You had a, you didn't have a semicolon between uh, assigning i minus one and then printing. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, here the print it put it here, of course, because you put. Okay, good. It also, it also fixed like you had an error after the. Yeah, assignment. but I thought that's why uh, it will, for example, yeah, instead of while it will use other syntax or something else. But uh, while is pretty anyway. fast, so. Yeah. So, like, so you were getting pretty optimized code anyways. Yeah, it's. Anyway, so now you got like here, you know, you can provide whatever code you want to this one. Even like, let's say you have like base R and you want to uh, like have uh, it in a Tidyverse, so you can tell like the API convert these two from base R to uh, Tidyverse. And you know, it's easy. You will get here in R Studio response. You don't have to move like uh, to the web browser, okay? So now we'll have, we will finish this with a small exercise. I will give you a few minutes for that. And then I will show you also in Python how to do that, but very quickly, it's, uh, there's a tutorial. And I will show you how like following the same, you know, it's like logic. You don't have enough time for all of that. There's only 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I won't show it. Uh, it's only a link to the Python and explain only. So this is like our exercise. I will give you two minutes. And, uh, or you can tell me, since you're expert now, you know, it's like a API, you can tell me what to put here. So here, this is a test. We will be using, you know, it's like this URL uh i put tokens five so you can have uh this is our token so you can have five tokens instead of these many tokens 
And then, you know, you have the prompt, you will tell me which one yeah, goes in the prompt. And the headers, what to put here, and yeah, what's the output? Okay, so what to put here? It's a small, funny exercise. It's same, same, same as this one, actually. So since, if you look, this one, we have content and post. Okay, so what to put here? Content post my URL. Actually, we have the content here, so we put post and then, okay, my URL, good. And then we said the body. The body has to be, it has to be what? Add headers? No, I lied, sorry. Okay, so here it's easy. What will go to the prompt? Optimize the following R code. No, no, no. no. C text, C text. Okay. This okay. Is here, read text. And here, tokens, it's easy. So you will have tokens here. Yeah. Okay. We left this. So you'll tell me here. Anyway, so we said add header, what we will add here. We said the authorization, there is like beer and then here. The key. The key. And then? The content type JSON. Yeah, good. So and then we want the content of? The output, yeah. Yes. 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 The output. And then we yes. have only this. Mm -hmm. I will give you one minute. <laughs> okay. Someone said to Jason. And I will show you the result. I think he might have said that for like the body. Actually, the result is here. Zero. You so have to provide the body as a list. Yes. So here, that's why, sorry. Here, you have to put it list. The body here, here it's like we put to JSON, but the yes. prompt, as you see here, has to be as a list. And what we added to this list is the maximum token. Okay? Yeah. So this is, yeah, it's the same like logic. And let's see, oh. It's output. It's missing a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Well, it gives you this kind of results. It's not really, yeah, but it's only like a test to yeah. see that once you have your key, once you have like your prompt, you can have like make a post request and get the result. Okay. Now, very, very fast. So I will stop sharing my screen here. Okay. I lost. Stop share. And then I will show, yeah, it's like the how to do. It's like there is a tutorial. And I want to show you very, very fast, quickly that if you follow the same logic, you can do everything with API. And since now you are API expert, so here it's a hands-on experience 
in Python and it's the same. So here you have the open AI API key. Then you give the model engine its text differentiate. Here it's like a previous version of what we saw today. You give the prompt the max token, and then you know it's like the response, and you get like this kind yeah, of response. And then you can make from here like also like a function. You can like customize every time like the prompt. You can add more like temperature well, and uh, change the frequency penalty, presence penalty. You can add more things to that, but it's the same logic in R or in Python. And you can get, you know, it's like the response to or to your like API request. And I think that's all. I can also show you that uh, there are many packages and that if you go to the links, yeah, I showed in, in the GitHub, you will see that the packages have the same logic, but then, you know, it's like they optimize the parameters and you can add more parameters. So they add more parameters to the function. That's all. So now you are experts like API using like yeah, API in R. So I think that's all. Is there any questions?